Mount Pleasant has moved into a three-point lead at the top of the table in the Jamaica Premier League following their 4-1 win over Milan United on Sunday on match day six at the UWI JFF Captain Horace Burrell Centre of Excellence. Alan Otte, Devonte Campbell, Ricardo Morris and Daniel Green were all on the score sheet as Mount Pleasant secured their fifth win from six games to climb to 16 points while becoming the best offensive team in the league with 15 goals in six matches. The St. Anne team is also the best defensive team Team, conceding just three goals so far. Alan Otte gave Mount Pleasant the lead after 22 minutes with a bustling effort to get by the Malines defence after a brilliant pass from the left flank from Daniel Green. Otte turned provider seven minutes later also from the left flank to serve up a perfect pass for the 18-year-old Campbell who made no mistake from close range to get his first goal of the season to lead Mount Pleasant into a 2-0 lead at half time. A minute after the resumption, Campbell produced a brilliant dribble on the right side from which he turned the ball inside to Otti who produced a splendid back heel to give Morris a glorious opportunity and he obliged to make it 3-0. On 73 minutes, Trevante Stewart netted from Lions United to cut the deficit and made it 3-1. But Daniel Green on minute 78 converted from the penalty spot after Morris was brought down in the box and the referee pointed to the spot. This makes Green the lone leading scorer in the league now with five goals. Otti was making his second appearance on the score sheet in his second match of the season was named man of the match. Well, it's a def definitely good feeling to get the man of the match today. From, um, I was out for a couple of games. Back in for, this is what, two, two games now. Two goals, two assists. Um, well, it's a pretty good feeling right now. Well, it, it's a good feeling because um, my teammates, they're pretty much love how oh, oh, I play and um, they want me to do my best at all times and score some goals. So it's a pretty good feeling right now. Well, definitely going forward to score some goals. Thank you very much. That's Alan Otti. Coach Wally Downs was again pleased with the result that his team continues to produce. I was very pleased with today's performance. Um, I think we, we had to work very hard because Mo Lines battled right to the end and they were physical side. And they didn't come down uh, not to put maximum effort in. And I was very pleased with the way we applied ourselves and how strong we were. Well, the most important thing, 2-0 is a very dangerous lead to have. It's a great lead to have, but the next goal is the important one. If you're 2-0 up and, they get, and the opposition get to 2-1, human nature makes the team that's leading a little bit wary and a little bit on the back foot. The team that scored a goal have the momentum. So the third goal is always critical. And I thought I was very, very pleased the way we went about it and scored a really good third goal. So uh, for us, we need us to be fully committed. Waterhouse played today. I saw some of their play. They have some very good players. And, uh, and it will give us a completely different challenge to the one today, but it's certainly one that we're up for. And uh, you know we'll treat them with the respect that they deserve and hope it's a very good game. Hopefully, I'm hearing good stuff, it could be at Drexel. Coach Wally Downs. Next up for Mount Pleasant will be Waterhouse in the top of the table clash at Drax Hall on Saturday. This with Drax Hall hosting the match day seven games on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday with 1,300 vaccinated spectators to be allowed to watch the games each day.